All right, quick video today, but we've got to talk about Strava messaging. Now, Strava messaging, you might think, is unneeded or pointless, and I agree. I don't really understand it. Okay, it's good to share routes, but I reckon it has possibly the worst feature of any messaging service in maybe the universe. Uh, so I'll show it on screen as we, as we uh, are going through the video. So number one thing, you can change messages. It doesn't show that you've changed messages. You can just change it. So you can say... I don't know, we're going to meet 9.30 and then you're a bit late and just change it to 10 o'clock and go, well, you know, <laughs> I changed it. It says in the chat. And sorry, it just says in the chat. I didn't change it. So that I just don't understand why Strava decided that it's a good idea um, to start changing messages halfway through. That makes zero sense and doesn't show your editing. You can also claim that you haven't read it either. You can change the if it's read or not. So overall, Strava, yet again, what an absolutely useless uh, piece of software. I literally have zero idea as to why they have decided it's a good point to add messaging along with those two features which are pointless. It doesn't work on the website, not good. Um, and more or less, I re and also, I just don't really get uh, why you can create group chats with loads of people and like I can message anyone who follows me, which seems kind of weird. Uh, because surely it should be more mutual, like you both have to follow each other. Obviously, there's some settings that you can change, but again, I just don't know why they focused on that. The thing they need to do, and this is kind of going to be a finish the video with my Strava wish list, come up with like some kind of thing where you could plan training, have a fitness and freshness chart that actually works and is just absolutely bananas. I literally have zero clue how it calculates things, but it's always wrong. Um, and also, I guess finally would be to have some kind of explore page or anything like that. And just, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they could do uh, just to fix things. Uh, the routes I feel like are getting better now with like some pictures and it shows you the surface. Again, I still think the routes they could probably sort out a little bit better. But anyway, it's a pretty quick video today, but just to let you know, Strava messaging, I probably would never ever use it in my life because people can just change messages. So until they fix that, feel like it's not and they're not until winner here.